Hi everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plans and today I am doing um, a little bit different of a video. I'm doing more of a planner setup. I got this super gorgeous, I think it's, I don't remember what it's called, um, something about crystal, I think it's crystal planner, like the crystal something plan, I can't remember, but it's the one that has, um, translucent discs and it has some silver glitter in them um, it's exclusive to Hobby Lobby um, I don't even think it's on the Happy Planner website but it is absolutely gorgeous um, it is a I think it's called crystal vibes now that I'm thinking about it um, but it is a horizontal neutral planner like look how neutral it has a little bit of color um, but it's hardly noticeable. I don't know if you can even see that. It's super hardly noticeable. Um, honestly, I bought this planner because I needed these discs in my life because they are so cool. I do wish that they had hollow glitter instead of just, hold on, let me see if I can get it to, <laughs> instead of silver glitter. Um, but it's, it's cool, but the cover is hollow which I thought was really cool. So I think I'm going to do a little setup. Um, I've been trying and racking my brain. I've had this for a little over a week now. Um, I've been racking my brain on how I can use this planner because, again, I bought it because I wanted the discs. But I also really love that it's neutral inside. Like, I absolutely love that. I've kind of been wanting to try out a horizontal planner um, for what? I don't know. I was kind of trying to think like journaling um, or something, but I think I'm going to actually use it for a social media planner. So I'm going to do like a little setup for April. Um, right now in my uh, wild styled planner, I used August to switch out with my planner, babe, because August is the same exact um, look as March was. Um, so that means September 2021 is the exact same for um what do you call it, is the exact same for April. What month are we in? So I thought it'd be fun to kind of go through um, uh, redating this a little bit and covering these up and getting them. So I have a few supplies here. I have these super gorgeous holographic, they are Avery tabs. I actually do have a pa another package of them. So they come like this. I got mine on Amazon. Somebody had posted these on a planner page on Facebook. And I was like, I need those in my life. So if I can find them again, I will definitely leave a link down below. So that way you can snag them for yourselves. But they are gorgeous. You get three different sets. Um, they come with 18. So a little bit less um, than... So you don't get that many. Which is kind of a bummer. But you know, you get them. I think you get six each. That's probably what that translates to. Uh, but they are hollow and they are gorgeous. And I thought that putting them in this planner would be perfect because it matches so well. I also pulled out the dates and holidays because it does have some month, month date stickers in it. So I thought that would be great. Right now, I'm just going to do April um, just because... I don't know what I really want to do with my life right now, so we're just going to do April. So I think I'm going to pull out, um, let's, actually let's leave that. So first, let's, let's make this planner mine, shall we? So here is the cover page. This is what the inside of the cover looks like. Um, super, super pretty. It's just a gorgeous planner and like these hollow tabs are going to make it look so much prettier. But I went ahead and printed, not printed, um, cut my um, name out that I wanted to put for this planner because it is my social media going to be my social media planner I figured I would do my Instagram name um, I layered this was probably my this is only my second time layering I think um, I'm super proud of myself after only having my Cricut for like a little over a month and a half or so um, but I did matte black with um, a hollow foil duh but I sized it so it was the right length for, um, you know, this planner. So we're going to get this in my page real quick. So I'm going to lay it down. 
Ooh, that's not even center. Can't see the line. There we go. So I'm going to have it kind of overlapping that line. Actually, up, down, overlapping a little bit. Let's overlap. And I'm mainly going to try really hard to only stick this sticker down. Um, I should have used a different transfer tape. This one is the tape from Cricut, and it's a little bit too strong for paper. And I have ripped, oh my gosh, the camera's not even doing this justice of how gorgeous. Ooh. Oh my damn, excuse my French, but look at that. Okay, I'm going to just use a card to kind of buff it out a little bit since I didn't really, I didn't want to press with that Cricut tape because it just, I've ripped pages before with it. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can catch the light. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. <gasps> I am in love. Having a Cricut is like the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. To be able to do that myself. Uh, I'm in love. I absolutely love this. So, um, my name's in it. So, we're in it to win it now. Okay, so my thinking was these are a little bit smaller. Um, these tabs are a little bit smaller than the Happy Planner tabs, but they are big enough to cover, um, they are big enough to cover at least the name. And this is like one of the longer months. So that's good to know. Um, I'm thinking, I think it's going to depend on which one these stickers show up best on. So there's a few different options in this Dates and Holidays book. Um, we have the option, and I only need to do this for the first couple months um, because come July I'll actually be able to use this planner like it was intended because it does start in July. So I'm just more worried about those months. So I want to make sure whatever ones I choose, um, I have enough for those months. So I have a few different options. I have this option. I'm going to do black. Um, so I have this really pretty font option. And again, I could print my own out, but why not use stickers when I already have them? And we have this option, which I really like this font. Super pretty. And then I have, there's definitely another option. And then I have like a thicker option. So I'm thinking the thicker would probably be better and or... Um, this April one here. So I'm going to pull them both out. So let's just kind of see which one will show up. So I really like this one. It's like a glass, like the patterns, like, you know, shattered glass. So if I stick the April on here and I should be able to peel it off because they're all laminated. So if I stick it on there, you can see it really well. So that's good to know. I'm going to peel that back off if I can. Otherwise, I guess that's what we're doing. I can get it. I just, it's my nail that's in the way. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's okay. I got tweezers. I got tweezers. I don't know how to use tweezers like properly though. So that's, that's my struggle. There we go. Just needed a little help. Okay. So we have that option. Not a bad option, not bad at all. Kind of curled my sticker a little bit, but that's okay. Let's stick it back. I'm probably gonna use that one because I do like it. I do notice that it kind of glosses the, it glosses it over, like it loses its shininess, which is a bummer, but that's okay. And then I have this option, which I'm not gonna stick it all the way down which isn't bad either. I think I'm going to go with this one. And I like it on this one. We could do, this one's like sprinkles, but I think it's a lot harder, I feel like, to see on the sprinkle one. So we're going to do like this shattered glass look. So I'm going to need two of those. I don't know why I just closed that book when I'm going to need it again. But I'm going to try and stick it on here as straight as I can. And actually, because I don't want to lose that much shine, I am going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim it. Because that's like really long. Boop, as I fling the sticker across the board. So I'm going to trim this off. There we go. 
So now it's a little bit smaller. Now we're covering less space. And I just want to stick this on there. So sorry, it's like crooked on here. So I can't see. I'm actually going to use my tweezers to kind of help me see better where my center is. I think that's pretty close. So we're going to slap that on there so I have April because that's the month we're in. And then I'll have to do the same thing on the back. But the back will actually have to be another tab because I'll be sticking this one over this one. So if you could see where it says September, this covers that up perfectly. It gives you a lot of space on here. I don't need that much space to stick it down. And I honestly think I'm just going to use some sticky glue. So I'm going to trim this down. Um probably at least to where the other one is, which is about here. So we're going to just cut this and we're going to trim this center down because I don't need that much. That is a lot. So it'll go here. There we go. And then it looks like it's a part of that divider just with a little bit of a flare. Oh my gosh. I love that. And then I have, let me find where my adhesive tape. Okay, I used my tape earlier and I did not put anything back where it was supposed to go. So my bad. So I'm going to take this, oops, and I'm going to, on the other side, I'm going to stick some adhesive tape as much as I can. I'm actually going to use this paper so that way I can get it as close to the edges as possible. You kind of just go buck wild with the tape um, because it won't matter. There we go. So it's nice and sticky now. And this is more of a permanent tape. So it should help it really, really stick. So I'm going to go back. Same thing. Find that spot that I had it in. And boom. Redated. Oh my gosh. I am in love. I wish it was a little bit longer, but it really doesn't bother me that much. I guess I could trim it, but I feel like that would bother me more, so I'm just going to leave it. So there we go, redated. Then I need to do the other side, because the other side is the same exact problem. So I'm going to go back and find that page. If you can see, this book came out when we weren't even in 2018. So this book only has 2016, 17, 18. I'm pretty sure I got this book in 2017, so I never used the 2016. So, you know, but I have more April in here. So I'm gonna take another one of those um, same stickers. I'm gonna grab another April. Whoop. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna trim it down because the less I have, the more hollow I see. That's what I want. Give me all the hollow. Okay, slap that on there. Grab my tweezers because I can't see what I'm doing. Slap this in the center, just like so. Boom. And then same thing, I'm gonna trim it. It won't bother me, I don't think, as much on this side as to where I trim it, but I'm gonna just trim it around here. Trim a little bit off because that's a ton and we don't need all of that. It's like excessive. Well, I'm going to use my little thing here to help me add some adhesive tape to it. Goodbye, hollow. Goodbye and hello. Okay, and then same thing. Stick it where I want it, and then I wanted to say sploosh it down. That's not right. Slap it down. There we go. Okay, so I have April. I'm, like I said, I think I'm just going to do April right now. See how it goes. I haven't really, I was using the mini stargazer, but I just, I don't know. I just didn't like it for a uh, social media. So I'm really hoping that this one sticks, but we'll see. Look at that hollow shine. Oh my gosh. So both sides. So I'm going to actually take 
this September. I'm going to take it out. I think this is called Crystal Vibes. Did I say that at the beginning? Now I'm thinking about it. Now I'm seeing like, you are a gem. Blah, blah, blah. Um, do I take this one? Because technically we're past this now. Why not? Let's take this page. Because that was this previous week. And I'm going to jump to the front. Um, we're going to leave... <laughs> so that might mean if I do this here... I'm going to have to do it in front of it. But that's okay. Because I'm not going to tape this to anything. This will just be a random page that's up here. So it's fine. Um, I'm going to stick it in here. Because... This is fine. It's fine. I'm not going to tape this page to anything, so I'll still have access to it. And actually, I don't think I need... Do I even need that? Because this is July 2020, and we end 2020 here. So, I potentially could, because I'm not going to use this planner into 2021. Let's be honest, that's why I'm franken planning it. So, I could take this page out, and I could glue it over here so that's just that's just me thinking out loud that's all that is I'm trying to figure out you know because knowing me i that's why i do this with it's easier for me to franken plan <gasps> look at that tab then we have a gorgeous hollow tab and we'll have a couple of those part of me might even just do that to a couple of the other ones just to make it pop and make it blend a little bit better than all these being at the front okay so I have my April in here. Obviously, this says September 2021. I'm going to have to change that. I didn't grab anything yet to change that. Um, I'll probably cover it with some sticker paper and print something out there. But I love this tab. It's so pretty. And then here, I'll have to change um, this page as well. September and then the 2021 I'll have to change those but as far as all these these are pretty like at least the dates what's on the dates isn't correct but I'm not going to pay attention to those so what I'm planning to do is using this page like I recently just scheduled all my Wednesday videos which are my what book are they in series I already have all those loaded into YouTube they're all scheduled so I can go through and put down what video is going to be showing on that day. Um, obviously, I have my Skinny Mini Monday, and then on Sunday I do my Classic, and then I have my Memory Planner on Friday, and then there'll be random videos depending, like this one, um, depending on where we are. But I also spent another fun project with my Cricut. I learned how to make stickers. I don't have the best sticker paper. Like, I hate this paper. It's just the cheap stuff from Walmart. But, I mean, it works. I ordered some other paper, so I'm waiting for that to come in. So I'm really excited for that. But I made some fun stickers where I'll be able to track my followers for um, Instagram and YouTube. And then I made to track my watch hours to see where a certain video is at and or just throughout the week. Uh, and then I made the things that I use that I write the most, which would be like YouTube, uploading, edit, um, Instagram, and then like film. So just different things that I might be tracking. I'll probably think of other things, but I was just really proud that I figured out how to do that and figured out how to pretty much do it on a full sheet of sticker paper, um, at least what the Cricut will let you do. So I'm really excited to utilize those. Um, and then obviously, again, I'm going to have to go through and um, figure, like, cover these things. I'll probably just cover that with washi tape, which actually, let's do that right now. So I want to keep to the black and white theme. I just really like that this is so clean. And honestly, this probably won't be something that I decorate a ton. Um, I can barely sometimes handle decorating my classic in my skinny mini, and sometimes those are my limit. So I don't plan on really um, full decorating. Obviously, I'll add stickers just to like pizzazz it up every now and then, but it won't be something that I do like a full blown spread with just because it's hard enough sometimes for me to want to do that with my classic. I love doing it, it's just I don't have a lot of time anymore which is kind of a bummer. So I'm gonna actually rip this so that way I get that. Oh, that was pitiful. 
Okay, that was poopy. How come when some people rip it, it like looks good? <laughs> okay, that's a better rip. So I'm gonna rip it. I don't want just like a straight line of this. So I'm ripping it so that way I have a little bit more of a, not design, but just a little bit more of a some something. And I think I'm gonna take this all the way to the paper's edge. I'm gonna flip it over. And then I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut it. Boop. There we go. Boom. Covered. Easy peasy. Um, so obviously I'll have to do that every single week, but that's okay. There we go. So I think things that I will be putting in here, let's just kind of, let's use my new stickers. Why not? Let's just do like a mini plan with me. Not really, but why not? So like I said, I really just want to keep this really neutral um, besides the pops of hollow, which I'm so excited for. But I really just want to keep this sort of kind of neutral um, just because that's something I like. So, oh, I know what I have to make. I was going to make, I have to make one that has the video types I do. So I think I'm going to do like a plan with me and then I'll do a skinny mini and then I'll do memory plan with me and then my what book are you in? So I'll probably do those exactly like this. Um, so that way I can just like slap those in and then I can put like what the theme that I'm thinking. So what I'm thinking is maybe every Monday, every Monday I'm going to go in and see where both are at. That'll be like a check-in, see what's happening. Am I reaching my goals? I set a goal to reach 10,000. Um, on my Instagram by the end of this year. So I gave myself till 2021, basically. I'm almost, yes, I'm to 400 away. So that's really exciting. So I'm like, woo woo. Um, but that was my goal. I think my goal was to get to 8,000 last year and I got that. So that was really exciting. Um, let's see. Maybe on, so I know on, let's see, Thursday nights I usually film, well, with being home more, I'm finding more times to film, but with being home, I'm usually filming on Thursday. So I usually film my plan with me's on Thursday. So I'll put, um, let's put a film sticker here. And then let me get a pen because it's black and white, but I think I'm going to write in color and I'm using the Paper Mate Ink Joy focus gel pens I love these these are some of my favorite pens and here I'll put um, plan with me classic and I do plan with me skinny mini Okie dokie. So I'll do those two things. I know for sure, usually on Thursday, sometimes it'll be different. Um, but most likely that's when I do it. Um, if I hadn't already uploaded my, what book are they in? I'll usually get that uploaded on Monday, but I already uploaded all those for the entire, like all the way through to May. So I don't even need to worry about that specific one anymore. Um, so I usually film and then Friday, I edit so we'll put edit over here on Friday and then again we'll write plan with me and then plan with me skinny mini okie dokie and then I usually film my let's see I usually film my memory planner on Tuesdays with people being home right now, that's been hard. <laughs> like this week, I don't think I filmed it until Thursday, but I tried. So memory plan with me. And then I usually um, edit that by Wednesday. Uh, and then I'll just write memory 
plan with me and then usually as soon as I edit it and as soon as it's exported I'll go straight to um, uploading it so let's put that next week not next week right next to it so like that so this is what I'm kind of thinking for this just really simple um, I just wanted to make these so that way I wasn't rewriting things over and over and over and over and over again so that's kind of why I made those um, like I said I'll probably make the plan with me um, like a skinny mini sticker because I don't like my handwriting sometimes um, if I try really hard I like it like today it's looking great I like it but other days if I'm like in a hurry um, and then I might use this to write down ideas of what I need to film or like the other day I got something partially edited and I had to kind of write down on a note like where I needed to finish off what I still needed to do in that video um, or just little things so that's probably what I'll use this for but I'm super excited to try this out and use the new stickers that I made um, so we'll see how this goes if I like it after this month um, I will definitely come back and maybe we'll set up um, the next month and we'll just go ahead and probably set up all the way to July which is when I can actually start using this planner um, so I think I'll do that I'll probably do like a goals um, like my goal for where I want to be um, with my YouTube and with my Instagram here and then maybe I can kind of plan posts on here I might even use this as like sticking pictures in here of like a post which I think would be really fun actually I might do that here because I have a lot of room and I have my Canon selfie so it would really be fun to put a picture of my memory planner um, I usually post my skinny mini here um, I post my classic on Sunday so that would be here and then sometimes even like end of week spreads maybe I can do something like that with this but I'm really excited to just try this out I gotta figure out what's gonna be best to cover these I might just cover them with some cute stickers it's this long September one that's gonna be really hard to cover but we'll figure it out um, I don't think there's definitely not a sticker big enough in here there's like these teeny tiny tots but there's not really month stickers to fully cover that I could always do the and then use some of these to make it 2021 instead so I could do that there are these months um, but there's not really a whole ton in this book and I don't think there are in the other book of like really big and solid I would need a solid so I think I'll probably go through with some sticker paper cover that um, and then maybe use one of those other stickers but I just really uh, look at that hollow and then this I'll probably do maybe I'll do goals here we'll use the dashboard for goals and that might even be a good place to put like the watch hours or followers so that way I'm not having to do them every single week. Maybe I can just do multiple ones here, like week one, week two, that kind of thing. I just kind of cut these so I could punch them and throw them in here because this is where I'll be using them. So there we go. Have all three of those. Really excited. Got to make one more. But that is that so that is what I'm planning to do for my social media planner just one more time look at that hollow though okay but that is what I'm planning to do for my social media planner um, I'll probably do some updates um, whatever I make um, but I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope I will see you in my next one bye